This is Texas Pete TV restaurant tour stop, Las Vegas. Steve Wynn is the magician of the Vegas Strip. The Golden Nugget, Mirage, Bellagio, The Wynn, and Encore are his creations and have made Steve Wynn one of the richest men on the planet. His 215 acre Wynn Resort draws thousands of guests each day. Just outside Wynn's posh villa at the resort is the Country Club at the Wynn, a new American steakhouse with a decidedly different flair. Texas Pete TV visited during the restaurant's famous Big Easy inspired jazz brunch with Creole creations like gumbo and shrimp and grits from executive chef Carlos Guia. I love bold flavors. That's why, you know, the definitely hot sauces and holy trinities and things like that just bring out a lot of flavor, garlic, and, you know, just to kind of make people wake, their palates wake up. With a rich wood, country club fill, and a veranda overlooking the wind's 18th hole waterfall, there's an upscale flavor that is one of a kind. Behind the scenes, this tiny kitchen was converted from a golf pro shop grill, has its own set of challenges. We have to be pretty much extremely organized to follow everything and make sure all the food goes up accordingly to where it's supposed to go. So I just see I have everything set up, uh, the eggs for omelets, uh, different things like that. Uh, we do eggs Versailles, which is a uh, toasted brioche with uh, smoked salmon and then egg on top. Uh, and hollandaise uh, topped with caviar, um, uh, shrimp and grits. We have a sweet corn succotash, which would be down here at the end with uh, edamame, roasted peppers, onions. Gia previously served as the executive chef of Brennan's Commander's Palace in New Orleans, and before that served under 2004 James Beard award-winning chef Louis Osteen at Louis's at Polly's Island. That is when Carlos got to know Texas Pete. Um, I love hot sauce as in a general rule on um, all my cooking. So, but uh, Texas Pete has a real mellow flavor, just a you know, spice and vinegar, the blend. Carlos makes his own secret spices for rubs for the country club's main course of Nebraska grown beef for his steaks. As for his next great creation, He's using a Middle Eastern spice. Well, I make my own Creole spice blend for one thing, so that enhances the flavor of a lot of, uh, of our dishes. But also, I uh, have an Aleppo chili, which is a Middle Eastern uh, red chili that's uh, just very fruity, not so hot, but it brings a little flavor, but also uh, some fruitiness and uh, floral to, to this food. For Texas Pete TV's Great Restaurant Tour, I'm Trinity Lancaster.